Hey everyone, you're watching Wisdom Shorts. Let me share with you a short story. A hunter once lost his way deep inside the jungle while chasing a deer. You know, he used all his navigation skills, but neither did he find any way out of the jungle, you know, nor could he find any food to eat for three days at a stretch. He lost all hope and he thought you know, he will die out of hunger. And that's exactly when an apple tree caught his sight. He was so happy he collected 10 to 20 apples to feed him for the rest of his search. As he ate the first apple, his joy knew no bounds. He just couldn't stop feeling grateful and blessed. But you know, he thanked life, you know, he thanked God. He was very happy. He could not believe his luck when he ate the first apple. But he was less grateful while having the second apple. And even lesser grateful when he had the fifth apple. Somehow, with each passing apple, the joy kept on reducing drastically. He just could not enjoy the tenth apple. He even started throwing apples which were not tasting good and even started complaining. You know, he had already taken for granted the gift of having found an apple tree in the middle of a forest after three long days of wandering with hunger. You know, in economics, this is called the law of diminishing marginal utility. It's actually the law of diminishing gratitude. In simple words, taking things for granted. Or let's just call it as the 10th apple effect. The 10th apple represents our lack of appreciation for gifts of life. The hunter represents all of us and the apple rep represents the gifts that life gave us. The 10th apple is as sweet as the first apple. If the 10th apple fails to give you as much pleasure as the first one, there's nothing wrong with apple, but with the person enjoying the fruit. Yeah. You know, the reason I share the story is because you know, we were having the 10th apple effect in our world for some time. Abundance of everything. And then we started complaining. We complained about people, job, government, traffic, food, weather, everything. But during this lockdown, I'm sure that most of you started appreciating a lot of things in life. You know, things which we took for granted. Even small things like, you know, it's so nice to talk to a human being. Or, and I'm so glad that, you know, we got vegetables to cook today. Or like, you know, thank God I'm healthy and safe. You know, things like that. We never, you know, had this kind of thoughts two months back. You know, the present situation is shaking us and showing us that we are dependent on something bigger than what we think. And we have to be grateful for all the blessings. You know, now we started appreciating the luxury we lived in. You know, the abundance of food, products, freedom, health, you know, good old days. And now we are realizing that we are taking, we were taking all these things for granted. So right now, all of us have two choices, be grateful or be stressful. And it's a choice. I want to share with you an incident uh, on this regard. I don't know whether it's a true incident or fiction. I got it as a forward, but, but a really powerful one. So a 73-year-old man uh, in Italy, he got better in the hospital. He was told to pay for the ventilator for one day and in the old man started crying. So the doctor advised him not to cry over the bill and we'll manage and things like that. But what the old man said made all the doctors cry. And grandpa said, I'm not crying because of the money I have to pay. You know, I can pay all the money. I'm crying because I've been breathing God's air for 73 years and I never paid for it. You know, now it takes 5,000 euros to use a ventilator in a hospital for one day. Do you know how much I owe God? I didn't thank God for that before. You know, grandpa's words are worth our reflection. When we breathe the air freely without pain. You know, no one takes the air seriously, right? You know, only when we enter the hospital we realize that even breathing oxygen with a ventilator costs money. When you change the way you look at things, the things you look at change. Gratitude is a strong, powerful, empowering emotion. Sometimes we have to bring more awareness and be more grateful for the gifts in life. Gratitude supports our immune system. It makes us strong. You know, but I, on the other hand, stress, stress makes you weak. You know, one thing I've experienced in my life is whenever you are grateful, if you're grateful, you can't be fearful. Right? You know, both doesn't go together. So be aware of your state of mind and start counting your blessings. 
Thank you is the best prayer you can chant all day long. The law of the universe is when you are grateful for things you have in life, you will have more things to be grateful for. I repeat, when you are grateful for things you have in life, you will have more things to be grateful for. So never let the 10th apple effect make you take the gifts in life for granted. Never let your gratitude for life fade away. Thank you so much for watching. Stay happy, stay healthy.